Hey guys, Breakthrough Coach Oliver Manolis here. Hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to share just a quick story about when I was 19 years old and I had this crazy high paying gig. I was getting paid $25, $35 an hour to build cars. So literally I would, I would go into this huge big box of a factory and find my station and there would be a big line of cars on a conveyor belt. And once the bell rang, like the conveyor belt would start going, and then I would take my part, put it into the car, to the car, drill it in, maybe move something here and there, and then press enter on the computer. And I would do that hundreds of times a day. Literally, you know, you do a car every 30 to 40 seconds, and there's a little bit of a break in between while you're waiting for the next car. And this was awesome. Like in the beginning, I just wanted to learn every single job on the line. I, I, like my, I was just so curious and I didn't want to get bored so I wanted to learn every single job that there was. And because it, it was repetitive work, you, know, you kind of need to do something to stimulate yourself. So I saw people with you know, earbuds in, listening to their crazy Walkmans at the time or like these, these thick, crazy MP3 disc players at the time. And I, I tried that. And it, it was kind of like, it was hard because it was really, really loud and you kind of need to be aware and observant of what's going on. So that kind of didn't, you know, didn't work all of the time. And you can only listen to the same, you know, 12 or 13 songs over and over again all day long. But also, I would just have conversations. I was really curious about was, you know, who was around me? Who were these people? So it turns out the, peop the person beside me was here for four, five years, 10 years, 15 years, lots of seniority. And... What I found out was this guy had a master's degree. This person was an engineer. This girl's a teacher. That guy's a PhD. This guy's a doctor at something. Like what the what are you doing on a line? And that just it just blew my mind how someone with so much training and experience and education is working on a line. And I don't mean to demean people who work in factory or assembly lines, but like holy shit, people are really motivated by money. That's what I discovered. And Eventually, I just I was not interested in, in, in replicating that kind of situation for my future, for myself. And so I started getting really, really curious. And I was in university and I just saw this cookie cutter thing happening in university. And I saw this cookie cutter thing, like literally on the assembly line. I was like, holy shit, like I need to get out of this. This is not working for me. So as my textbooks were getting a lot, gathering a lot of dust, I started picking up my own books and I realized that I was a crazy learner. I was a voracious reader. And I, and I started reading, you know, just these, all these self-help, these self-help books, these, these self-growth, these personal development types of books. And I was, I was so interested. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make the best of my time while I'm on the line. I need to read these books. But the only thing is, I felt so uncomfortable. I didn't want anyone to catch me with these books, like I would rather be caught reading some porn magazine or like, you know, one of those like magazines filled with models or like Maxim, you know, I used to have a monthly subscription to Maxim. I'd rather be reading Maxim on the line than being caught dead with like, you know, six pillars of self-esteem. You know, I'd rather be, be caught reading some, you know, trashy romance novel instead of reading, you know, an Anthony Robbins book. Everyone knows Anthony Robbins is this personal help guru that they see in infomercials. And like the, the, the reason I had this fear was I thought that maybe if people caught me with these books and they saw what I was reading, they're probably thinking, oh my gosh, what's wrong with Oliver? Is he going through something? Like, is he depressed? Somehow he's broken. Like, hold, it's like, what, you know, why is he reading these books? And so all these fears started like kind of, you know, trickling all over me and like giving me this awkward feeling. So I, you know, resisted bringing these books. And then one day I started doing it and I would do it over and over and over again. I would read these books and it turns out my fears were absolutely right because I had people asking me, oh, what are you reading? Oh, are you reading that? Is everything okay? Like what's, what's going on? Like, is there anything that you need to talk about? And they were all treating me like they were, I was messed up, like there was something wrong with me. And now, after so many years of reading and delving into this kind of work and working with these kinds of, you know, with, with people at this capacity as a breakthrough coach, I'm realizing that, you know, culture has changed. A lot of more people are investing in themselves and transforming aspects of their lives. But 
here's the one thing that has become super, super clear for many of us. We don't do self-work or personal development or seek self-knowledge because we're broken and need to be fixed. No, we do it so that we can become normal. It's the world that's fucked up.